checking one, two. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. Hey, what up, what up, what up? This is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You are listening to WKTJ Reverence Radio. It is June 25th, 2021. It is so great to be with you. I'm glad you are listening here. If it's your first time here, we want to welcome you, welcome you, welcome you three times in the name of Jesus Christ. Because that's what we do right here on Friday Night Live with your man DJ TJ. And uh, I want to say that even though we are almost out of the woods, we're not out of the woods yet. There is a sneaky little variant going on. We have reached a deal in the infrastructure deal case or whatever you want to call it. It hasn't been signed into law. It hasn't even gone through Congress, but they have an agreement with the White House with some senators, and we will talk about that in a little bit more. Derek Chauvin was sentenced today. We'll talk about that as well. There's a lot going on in my personal life right now, so make sure you pray for me and my family. I wasn't even supposed to be here today, but God saw it fit to let me do the show and be at home and wait for phone calls and all this good stuff while family goes through what they go through in the hospital. Other than that, we are here. We are ready. If you're ready, I'm ready. This is what is in your news. All right. Derek Chauvin was sentenced today. and His verdict came up with him being sentenced to 22.5 years. In federal prison. And on June 25th, a judge rejected Chauvin's request for a new trial, indicating the defense didn't show any evidence of juror misconduct either during trial or during jury selection that warranted in the event that they have evidentiary hearing. Chauvin is expected to appeal his conviction. The three other officers involved at the scene, Thomas Lane, J. Alexander Cohen, and Tao Tao, will stand trial on March, in March 2022 for aiding and abetting second-degree murder and aiding and abetting second-degree manslaughter. With the verdict comes cause for police accountability and reform. The George Floyd Justice in Policing Act that addresses police misconduct, excessive force, and racial bias in policing was passed by the House and awaits a Senate vote. So that's what's going on with Derek Chauvin in the George Floyd case. He was sentenced to 22 and a half years. Me personally, I think he should have gotten more, maybe 30, but the defense asked because of his time served that it was released and he was not released, but he was uh, reduced to 22.5 years. Um seeing as though I guess they were going to give him more than that. His max was 40 years, and he got 22 and a half. So, wow, that's all I can say. And they're still marching to this day. In Minneapolis, they are still marching on behalf of George Floyd and police inequality. I really like this background beat. How about y'all? Let me know in the comments below. If you are here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button followed by that bell icon. And make sure you like the video if you like the video so we can get YouTube on board and invite other members of their YouTube family to come aboard our family. 
if you're on Facebook, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, or like and follow and share, whatever you do on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Make sure you do it so you can stay involved and in contact with your man DJ TJ, all right? Don't forget, we also have a web page that has merchandise on it. It's churchreadyclothing.com. We're updating naturally, not say every day, but we're updating as we can. We also have a magazine that is Reverence Magazine. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and we are on Twitter. Uh, YouTube is a little slow right now, but we do have videos coming out every week on WKTJ Reverence Radio on YouTube. We are currently streaming live services of my church as well as the Bible study on Wednesday. So make sure you check us out at 7 o'clock on Wednesday and 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. All right. Getting back to the news. In Miami, there was a condo that has collapsed about 1.30 a.m. Eastern Time on June 24, 2021, Champlain Towers South, a 12-story beachfront condominium building in the Miami suburb of Surfside, Florida, United States, partially collapsed. At least four people died and 11 people were injured as a result of the collapse. At least 35 people were rescued from the building while as many as 159 people remain missing as rescue operations continue. They are updating daily and almost on an hourly basis. People are asking where their people are, where their loved ones are. It is the main story of the week so far. My heart goes out to Miami. If your people were involved, God bless you. Hope they're all right. If you haven't found them yet, keep the hope, keep the faith, like they say on the news. That's real. They don't really know the cause, but they are investigating. Alright, family of Paraguay's first lady are among 99 people missing in Florida's condo collapse. <clears throat> well, here's some good news to go with that condo collapse. They have actually recovered 53 people out of those missing from yesterday's collapse. This happened yesterday, y'all. A new calculator can predict the risk of being diagnosed with dementia. Wow. Now, if you're not familiar with what dementia is, it has to do with something according to researchers that is very close, closely associated with Alzheimer's disease. The systems mess with your cognitive and sensory functions of your brain. You have difficulty with memory and loss of visual perception, coordination and motor functions, confusion, disorientation, and a number of other things make it hard for you to function daily. Dementia is nothing to be messing with, y'all. It's nothing to be playing with. So if you know somebody with dementia, make sure you take care of them. Alright. It sound right, boy.
a bunch of pigeons have vanished during a race. Of about 10,000 pigeons have disappeared during a race, a pigeon race, on Saturday. Pigeon racing is the sport of releasing specially trained homing pigeons, which then return to their homes over a carefully measured distance. The time it takes the animal to cover the specified distance is measured and the bird's rate of travel is calculated and compared with all the other pigeons in the race to to determine which animal returns at the highest speed. Wow, I guess everybody has something that they're into. Pigeon racing, y'all. Pigeon racing. Oh, Lord Jesus, help us. All right. Jesse Jackson and William Barber have been arrested during the filibuster protest outside the Capitol. It's terrible. This is all because they were protesting the voting rights bill that was rejected by Congress this week and apparently it got out of hand And they were arrested. That's Jesse Jackson and William Barber, y'all. William Barber the second. Some of our most recognized affiliates for politics and faith, as well as anything national news wise that we protest and big advocates for justice, y'all have been arrested, but they will be out soon, not to, even though it's a sad case that they did that to them, they'll be out soon, they won't be in there long, over protesting, just protesting. British Open has strict protocols for golfers. WKTJ Reverence Radio. That's right. You are listening to WKTJ Reverence Radio with your man DJ TJ. It is June 25th, 2021. Getting back to the news now. The U.S. Open has stricter policies on their protocols for COVID-19 at the British Open. And Mr. Pence almost has no idea more un American. Pence breaks his, his silence about Trump on January 6th. The former vice president and says he was not constitutionally empowered to reverse the election. Well, speaking of Donald Trump, Trump opens score settling tour with rally against GOP impeacher. There's been a discovery of Dragon Man. A skull in China has been found and may add species to human family tree. This fossil was said to be found in have been around at least 140,000 years ago. So, 
John McAfee's widow insists husband was not suicidal. She blames the U.S. government for his death. Officer Michael Finlon, injured in Capitol riots, says, I need a drink at the McCarthy meeting. Consumer spending is primed to fuel summer growth. Household spending leveled off last month as consumers pulled back on big ticket goods. Ringo Starr drops trademark fight over Ring O sex toys. And Britain is to investigate whether Amazon and Google do enough to block fake reviews left on their page. The UK to probe Amazon and Google fake reviews. Britain's competition regulator stated a formal investigation has begun. Alright, Virgin Galactic earns FAA approval to fly humans into space. Virgin Galactic is a British-American space flight company that operates in the United States. It was founded by Richard Branson and has Virgin Group retains a 33% stake. It is developing commercial spacecraft and aims to provide some additional space Space flights to space tourists. Virgin Galactic's suborbital spacecraft are air launched from beneath a carrier airplane known as the White Knight 2. Alright, President Biden's approved. President Biden approves Florida emergency declaration after condo collapse. All right, the Chinese ride hail giant Diddy, DD, is reportedly eyeing a seventy billion dollar valuation for its upcoming U.S. IPO. All right, we're halfway there. Y'all ready? Another note, the NBA Finals are here, y'all. I'm not really, like I told you last week, I'm not really a basketball fan. But let me know who you got for the NBA Finals winner this year. Who you want to win? Who you think is going to win? Let's discuss it down in the comments. If you're right here on Facebook or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast, let me know. Leave me a comment so I can reply to you and I can learn about what's going on basketball, basketball, whatever sport you listen to. Also, the Olympics trials are fully underway. And tonight, the, the gymnastics take off. 
They already had the track and field trial over the weekend. There's still some track and field going on, but we know who is going to be our top track and field runners this year. Tokyo Olympics starts in July. Jason Kidd is the point against... I'm sorry, Jason Kidd is to run point against Mavericks, this time as head coach. All right, Georgia judge dismisses most of lawsuit that allegedly fraudulent absentee balance in the Fulton County existed. And this is disgusting. According to Georgia governor lashes out after DOG, DOJ challenges state's new voting law. Almost there, y'all. We're almost there. All right, historic heat wave blasts the northwest as wildfire risks begin to soar. Not to mention, today the Emmy Awards are kicking off. The daytime Emmys are coming on as we speak. Amen. Even though I don't stay with, up with those. If you watch the Emmys, make sure you watch the Emmys. Wimbledon, he'll leap out with injury. Murray faces Belshilobi in the first round. Charges against the Trump Organization expected as soon as next week, Trump attorneys say. And the annual moon landing that NASA and Nelson pushed for, they want more moon annual landings for a dozen years. Supernatural's prequel, The Winchesters, is in works at the CW from Jensen and Daniil Eccles. Biden signs into law creating Pulse Memorable Memorial at nightclub shooting site. Celebrity cruises ship ready to sail with paying passengers, some of whom are unvaccinated. The infrastructure deal is now in doubt. GOP senators have been blindsided. Damien Chazelle, news movie Babylon, adds to its star-studded cast. A lawsuit has been filed seeking millions against the owner of the Chaplin Tower South 
after the collapse. HBO orders a new series, Nathan Fielder, will follow up Nathan for you with a new HBO series where nothing seems to ever work out. All right. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Shaven has offered condolences to the George Floyd family. Sam Neely, Christoph Waltz to star in film adaptation of The Portable Door. The Harder They Fall trailer is on Netflix Western Unites Majors, Elba, King, Beats, Lindo, and Stanfield. Congress votes to reinstate methane rules that have been loosened by Trump. The get sponsored measure. Who is Gina Cola D'Angelo? Matt Hancock was accused of having an affair with close aide and multiple others. Russia says it fired warning shots at a British warship which approached Crimea. And Roman Protasevich, house arrest for a man seized in Ryanair Belarus jet drama. Students rescue German police from a burning patrol car. Russia has launched a Mediterranean drill amid rift with Britain. UN urges Israel to stop building settlements in occupied lands immediately. And scientists have reacted to a claim that COVID first emerged in October 2019. There are ongoing efforts by scientists and governments and international organizations and others to determine the origin of the SARS CoV 2, the virus responsible for. COVID-19 pandemic. Most scientists say that the virus is likely of a zoonotic origin in a natural setting from bats or other closely related mammals. Several other explanations, including many conspiracy theories, have been proposed about the origin of this virus. If they think it's starting October 19th, that sounds about right. Because this January stuff is for the birds. They done pushed it back a couple times already. So they're getting closer to knowing what's going on because I can, I'm can, i a witness of that. They're getting closer. Just on a personal note, y'all. All right, a French woman stands trial for murder of... Decade-long abuser. The EU to Hungary's Orban. Respect LGBT rights or leave. Assailant has been shot and arrested after deadly knife attack in Germany. And last but not least, El Salvador offers $30 of Bitcoin to citizens to boost its use. Wow. Wow, wow, wow.
Okay, okay, okay. That's all I have for you this week. I want you guys to be out there. Be safe. If you don't have a church home, get yourself a church home. If you don't have yourself a Bible, get yourself.